Welcome to another South Asia Monitor interview. My guests today are two very interesting people who are going to tell us about a very interesting project, especially for art lovers and for people in the world of art. Now, what these people have done is something astonishing, which we couldn't have dreamt of some decades ago. These people have worked to restore, digitize, and archive and preserve for posterity ancient paintings in the iconic Ajanta Caves. And these paintings are very important because they are supposed to be an art gallery of uh, the lost world, or should I say, the old civilization. And therefore, these paintings tell us of a world which we hardly know. Am I right? And uh, the best part is that these paintings we have not been able to see for years because of the time that has elapsed from the time they were made. They were made somewhere in the first to the second century BC. So you can hardly see the colors or even the figures. In some places, you know that it is something which is extraordinary. These were done by unknown artists, but they are the best and the oldest example of Buddhist religious art. Therefore, this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Now, I would like to take you straight to Mr. Benoit Behel, who is an art historian and a photographer. Welcome to our show, Mr. Behel and Mr. Srivastav, who is, uh, Ashwani Srivastav is the CEO of Sepio Analytics, which is a government advisory company, which is working closely with the Ministry of Culture to restore ancient art. Welcome to my show. I will start with you, Mr. Behel. Can you just, in very simple terms, tell us what exactly you have done to these paintings and how are we going to be able to see them? Yes. Well, um, first of all, in uh, 1991 and 1992, I was credited by uh, all experts around the world. Uh, in fact, thousands of newspapers have written about uh, my photography of the Ajanta paintings, which uh, brought them, brought their details and their colors before the world for the first time since the caves are dark and strong lights are not allowed to be used. The paintings were not clearly seen and even people like Dr. Stella Cramrish who was at the, Stella, uh, at the Philadelphia Museum of Art and Karl Khandalawala who was in Mumbai who had both uh, studied uh, the Ajanta paintings for at least 50 years of their life. When they saw my photographs, they said, my God, we are seeing the details and colors of Ajanta for the first time. And all over the world, all the top museums and universities all invited me. And everywhere in the world, there was a unanimous response to the paintings of Ajanta I showed. And this was the leading art critics and the leading art historians in the capitals of the world. And they all said, this must surely be the finest art of humankind. So I had this remarkable good fortune and I was really humbled by it that somehow it fell upon me to take uh, these paintings in their true colors, details, and even more importantly, in the true compassion and grace which they so completely embody to the world. Subsequently, of course, uh, my book on the Ajanta Caves, published by Thames and Hudson, London and New York, and Harry Abrams, New York, is the best-selling book on Indian art history in the world. And I went on also to document the other murals, ancient murals of India, establishing a clear tradition of uh, painting in ancient India. Now, what uh, brings us uh, to uh, what we are talking about uh, uh, even more today, is the fact that uh, a few years ago, I, well, I have been working a long, long time on the digital restoration of the Ajanta paintings. Now, Can I just interrupt you here, Mr. Bill? Can yes. you just explain 
for um, the sake of my viewers and for me, that when you say this is the technique you use, what exactly did you do? Because I, as I know, you can't photograph these paintings because it's not allowed. It's a UNESCO heritage uh, site. And apparently, even if I go today and see the paintings as little I can see, because you know the colors are all muted and the outlines are probably, most of them are erased. So what exactly have you done to restore them as they were made, hopefully? Well, this is something for which I have been internationally very famous and National Geographic have written extensive stories about my work, etc. I um, have perfected uh, a technique of photographing in extremely low light. So the darkness of the Ajanta Caves was not a barrier. In fact, the Director General of the Archaeological Survey of India immediately wrote a letter to me very kindly saying, you have conquered the darkness. <laughs> and so did uh, you know, so many people around the world. So that was the first part of it. Now, the second part, again, that we are talking about is that um, the paintings are damaged by, by centuries uh, which have passed. So um, they are, for art historians, they are still immensely, truly the most beautiful that they are. The common person, common person is not sometimes able to relate to things where the damage is showing. Mm. Therefore, uh, I have done this job and Sapio Analytics are now discussing with me to take these uh, restorations uh, from me. And Sapio Analytics are uh, very dynamic. We are in discussions, let us see. And uh, the restoration has been extremely carefully done because um, software is only a very small part of the job. The paintings are works of art and these are masterpieces. They are beautiful works of art and every artist puts into every line that he makes his entire his grace and compassion are found in every line of the art. Uh, so, Mr. Rastav, just to come to you, as uh, Mr. Bell just pointed out, that uh, you have played a vital role in something which is probably his dream project, uh, if I may put it like this. So what exactly has your company done? I know you uh, give advice to the Ministry of uh, Culture. So what exactly is your role in this? Also, firstly, uh, just sitting with Mr. Benavihal is an honor in itself. He is a legend. He is someone you know, who uh, all of us are, have grown up being fans of. And uh, so he's the one known for kind of you know, uh, recreating for the world to see. When you know, having seen his work, some of his works, what we knew very clearly that uh, it's important to be able to restore every painting which is available in you know with their own case, restore them to their original glory. And such kind of restoration needs to happen very meticulously, and it can happen with the knowledge of uh, legends like Mr. Binabar himself, along with artificial intelligence and deep learning methodologies. So that also becomes one part of it. Uh, so, you know, so that is something which we are working on. Apart from that, uh, you know, that's, that's one of our major innovations. Apart from that, we have recently, you know, uh, we've been in the news for uh, starting off preservation of Ajanta Caves for eternity at the Arctic World Archive. So Arctic World Archive is, is our partners in this entire uh, activity. So the idea is that the photographs of what uh, you know of the Janta caves, which uh, Mr. Behel has taken, if they can be uh, digitized, some of them digitized. Some of them have been restored already by the amazing work which he has done. And if all the others can also be restored using uh, the knowledge as well as deep learning together, uh, uh, deep learning methodologies, then they can then be further preserved for posterity for et eternity at the Arctic World Archives, ensuring that Ajanta Caves in its original form is present for 
thousands of years for mm -hmm. anyone to see. Coming back to Mr. Behel, uh, you know, when you said that you restore them, you know, and try and get nearest possible to what the original was, or maybe they are like the originals. So what is that process? I mean, uh, you obviously go back to photographs or maybe artificial intelligence. How does this whole process work? Uh, we begin with uh, the uh, uh, by the grace that there is the very excellent photographs which uh, I've had the good fortune to take of the uh, paintings. We begin with those, and uh, where the lines are broken and where the colors have faded, uh, it is uh, you know for me to and I've spent <laughs> I've spent scores of years in love with these paintings. So it is for me to very carefully understand how the color should be and how the line should be. And always to spend a great deal of time with it and not to do anything more than what would be true. So keeping very well within the parameters of what is uh, definitely true. And here is where uh, it is, it's, it's you know, softwares are available, but uh, it, it is, these are masterpieces and the restoration of art we are talking about, uh, deep, deep, deep love of the art, deep sensitivity to the art. And we are trying very hard to actually join ourselves to the original artists, because what is in the grace of the original artist, what is in the soul, what is in the tradition of the original artist is what I have tried to connect to, I must say, it's been a wonderful experience since 1991 that I have been in love with these paintings. And there is a spirit of compassion which they have exuded, which has completely transformed my life. So with that kind of understanding, I have sat with very highly selected uh, uh, operators, software operators, who I have selected very, very carefully, very carefully, because Software is just a small part of it. It is, you, even the operator needs to be uh, an artist who is able to understand the line when I, when I sh show him or tell him about the grace of a line. He should be able to understand it. And then we work. It has been, it has been day and night work. It has been a wonderful experience. And as Ashwin uh, put it so well, the idea is to try to bring this great art, glorious art, before... Uh, so know, as I understand, you don't actually touch the painting. Not at all. Because that obviously would be a complete no-no. Uh, so when you take the photograph, digital, uh, digitize it, how near do you think we are to seeing the original? Well, if you were to... Uh, if you were to read uh, what has been written by <laughs> all the birds in the world, they said that they were completely amazed. Even when they visited Ajanta, they had not seen things in those details and clarity. All the photographs that they had ever seen, they had never seen the paintings in that detail and clarity. So the photographs we are beginning with are somehow blessed. I don't know why I was given this opportunity by whatever powers that be, but it is something with great humility that I have uh, folded my hands before. We are starting with photographs which are considered to be like the original. Um, as I understand, uh, Ashwin, that this is something also of interest to you, restoration and uh, preserving uh, art. Can you just give us an idea of how this is actually preserved and archived? Okay, uh, so the preservation part, uh, from the angle of how it how it has been uh, like shifted to the uh, big world archive, uh, it converted to a film format. So what we know today is that uh, very few uh, formats are available which can be, uh, you know, uh, which can be called indestructible. Right, so we have tried to create something with we as in our partners, PIQ, who actually runs the Arctic World Archive. 
so they have uh, created a particular kind of a format called PIQL film, which is basically uh, uh, something which is indestructible to a great extent. And for example, magnetic fields and all, which otherwise would impact data storage, would not impact this. So that then they are converted into a real form, and then that real is taken to a uh, uh, small bard in Norway, which is uh, an island over there in the Arctic, and over there it is preserved. Uh, that's how the process So works. how would a common man or a person like me, if I wanted to see the great work which has been done by Mr. Bell, uh, how would I be able to access this? Yeah, yeah. So uh, it's in the process right now. You may be aware of this, that even in the current government's uh, manifesto, uh, it has been talked about that heritage needs to be restored. And it's one of the, uh, one of the items which, which is on the priority of the government of India's list also. Uh, so, uh, there's a clear plan on ensuring that restoration happens, preservation happens. From our side, the way we are uh, contributing to this is that in the future, you will see a virtual uh, museum, for example, a 3D museum, where you can go, for example, uh, many people would not be visiting Ajanta. They can enter this museum in a 3D manner, see the, those images. Uh, they can also... Uh, Later, we will also bring in augmented reality so that you can feel that you are part of the museum itself. While you know, so, so that these are all processes which will be happening in the near future. Uh, Mr. Bell, as I understand, the paintings are sort of two phases. One is just about uh, Lord Buddha and uh, you know his life and enlightenment, etc. And the, the other set talks of is from another period which depicts something entirely different. Please correct me if I'm wrong. And have you then worked on all these paintings or only some of them? I've had the good fortune of uh, entirely documenting uh, all the paintings. In fact, I did a thing for it in 91, but I personally felt that it, need to, it needed to be improved. So I did the whole lot again in 1982. So two, twice the entire uh, uh, all the paintings, the caves were done. Yes, there are two phases. The first uh, phase is around the second century, as you mentioned, BCE, and the second phase is uh, around the fifth century CE. Okay. And uh, as you said, the paintings are about uh, about uh, some of them are about stories of uh, Gautama Siddharth, uh, but uh, uh, others are about the Jataka stories, the okay. tales of his uh, previous births. And this, this is the most extensive document, uh, portrayal of the Jataka stories anywhere in the whole world. But there is a lot which Ajanta has, which is fundamentally important to the entire world. And as far as Buddhism is concerned, there is no site which compares with it. As far as art is concerned, all the art historians that I've met in the countries of Asia, all of them relate their finest art to its roots in the art of Ajanta. It's an amazing, absolutely amazing fountainhead of, uh, of art. And How so many paintings are there, Mr. Bill? Well, they are not um, separate paintings, but paintings which flow into one another. Mm. It's a marvelous continuum. But uh, there are uh, there are still you know there are uh, hundreds of such uh, continuums, and what is most important is that uh, it is a world of compassion. The thousands of figures which are painted at Ajanta, they have a quality of caring for others. They are seen caring for each other in the paintings. They're full of warmth for each other. It is a world of compassion which pulls you in completely. And I must say that I'm so glad that uh, Ashwin is uh, taking this dynamic interest in bringing uh, uh, technology to the fore where he would use uh, uh, these photographs to create, as he says, the uh, virtual museums and things like that because it will take all this uh, to the people. And it's essentially important that all this be done, as he's very kindly saying, under my guidance, 
the meaning of the art, the compassion of the art, the grace of the art is of paramount importance. And it's very good that uh, he's planning to do it with uh, sensitivity and warmth because it, that is- We really the have to thank uh, Mr. Bale as well as Mr. Srivastava for doing this great job because you see, um, so many of us can't really travel to see these beautiful paintings. And if some of us do actually even make it, it would be difficult to comprehend the glory of these uh, paintings. But I think with the efforts by the two of you and uh, Mr. Behel, you have explained it so well. I think it's, uh, it, I almost feel that I should go right away and see the paintings and then go back and see when I can see the archived uh, material. It's a privilege to have both of you with us and we look forward to being able to see what you have preserved for all of us and generations to come. Thank you very much for being with me. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. It was a pleasure.